it's Delicia, Cigar Vixen, joining you today right off the shore of beautiful Catalina Island here in Southern California. Joined by lots of wonderful people enjoying the sun. Um, I'm out here on my friend's boat where they fish and film the show Stoked on Fishing, hanging out with the crew, enjoying lots of fishing, great weather, cigars, and um, great company. So, of course, I brought out a very special cigar for the occasion. I'm going to be smoking this Fuente Añejo in a Lancero, which is my favorite size and probably one of my favorite Fuente cigars that they make. This one is aged, um, the wrapper is aged in cognac barrels. It's featuring the Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper and just a phenomenal taste on it. Again, proper aging does wonders. So I did bring out the wrong cutter, but I'm going to go ahead and do a few snips here and get this little guy ready to smoke. Right away you get a nice creaminess, a cocoa. You can definitely pick up that the cognac influence on here. It's just a wonderfully aged tobacco. As I mentioned, this is probably one of my favorite Fuentes to smoke. It's always good. Um, I've had the pleasure of um, having quite the little stash of these guys in my humidor, so. I figured today I would do an actual review on it for the rest of you. And um, again, beautiful scenery. I'm gonna smoke this down a little bit more and check back in with you, let you know how the flavors develop. Getting into the second half here of the Fuente Añejo, um, really incredible taste. You definitely can pick up the cognac that it's been aged in. In fact, off the top of it here, it looks like it's even seeping like molasses. It's kind of crazy. I mean, you get a little bit of a residue that kind of lingers that, again, that cognac flavor, but it also, to me, tastes a little bit like a black licorice. Uh, you get a little bit of a slight uh, black pepper in there as well kind of more towards the back of the palate, <clears throat> but excellent aging on this. Um, very sweet, very well produced, and a beautiful burn line on it, producing a nice amount of smoke, even out here in the open air with lots of wind, still getting a nice amount of smoke just radiating off of there. So just an excellent um, experience, an excellent flavor. I'm enjoying it quite a bit, and I'm gonna, of course, continue to smoke it down a little bit more, get back with you towards the end of it. So coming into the last third, not quite done yet, but gonna check in before I uh, catch a fish here and get distracted. Uh, flavor wise, you know, really good. Continued kind of along the same lines as it has been pretty much throughout. So not a ton of complexity, but still a lot of flavors. Getting, um, again, that really nice molasses. Uh, definitely, again, the traces of the cognac are definitely there. Uh, picking up 
Not as much as the pepper. There was a period when there was getting a lot more pepper and that black licorice for some reason just was really sticking out to me. But overall, just a very enjoyable smoke, especially for a day like today when I'm out here and enjoying the beautiful scenery and just soaking it all in. This is a great cigar to celebrate that with. So again, if you get your hands on one, definitely recommend it. If you can find it in a Lancero, cheers to you. <laughs> Thanks for watching as always, and I hope you enjoyed the scenic uh, video review. Take care.